He's the world record holder, but Haile Gebre Selassie will not be running the marathon in this summer's Olympic Games. With the details and more of the day's news, Carl. The Ethiopian runner who suffers from asthma said the massive pollution in China was a threat to his health. Gabriel Selassie said he would compete in the 10,000 metre event instead. There'll be no marathon victory for Haile Gabriel Selassie in Beijing. It's not his rivals that have dented his hopes, but the one thing that athletes fear the most at the Olympics, the pollution. He can usually finish a marathon in little more than two hours, but not, he's decided, on the smog-filled streets of Beijing. I realize you have to put his health first, but in any way, there's no chance to run a world record in the Olympic uh, marathon because it's uh, too difficult anyway. And he's still hoping to make uh, Beijing by running the 10,000 meters. It's sad, but you know he doesn't pick the places, and uh, you know in general, Olympic games are always in hot places. So we are looking forward to really looking forward to 2012 London. China can build new stadiums, put on a spectacular opening show. But it can't, despite a ban on cars and shutting down some factories, make its air clean. The International Olympic Committee has admitted long outdoor events such as the marathon and some cycling races could be postponed if the pollution is too high. The British marathon runner Paula Radcliffe, also an asthmatic, isn't pulling out. Her management team told Channel 4 News pollution was of course a factor, but she would be preparing as best she could and wasn't excessively worried. But the British Olympic team is concerned enough to be researching special diets to help fight the smog and developing anti-pollution protection systems for its athletes. Long-distance runner Mo Farah is one athlete who's been testing a mouthpiece which acts to filter the air. But there's enormous secrecy behind the project. Teams think if they work out how to beat the pollution, they'll get a competitive advantage. This is why. Tests on athletes show just how badly performance can be affected by a drop in oxygen. Athletes won't be able to wear the mask when competing, but they will in training and in the warm-up. The heat's obviously going to be a problem, but air pollution will affect performance a little bit, but it's, it, it's going to vary from individual to individual. And air pollution can, it, it, it is, it can be, you know, it can have a damaging effect on performance and on health uh, subsequently. Haile Gabri Selassie's decision will be an embarrassing one for the Chinese, and he says other athletes' performances will be affected. One American runner has asked his Olympic coaches if he should train behind a bus and breathe in the exhaust fumes. Guess the world record holder didn't fancy that training method.